Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and look at what you're currently not aware of. Of course, I appreciate each and every one of you for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. I do appreciate you for stopping by. And make sure you subscribe if you're into tarot, astrology. We talk about that a little bit over here. And let's jump into it. Any information you need to book a reading will be below. All right, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are you currently not aware of? Okay, so we have anxiety, we have broken heart, we have financial constraints, and we have adjacent possibilities. Okay, so what you possibly may not be aware of, uh, there could be this energy transfer that's happening. You could have people around you who are kind of negative <laughs> maybe this is co-workers maybe this is a romantic partner who can sometimes you know um complain a lot or put you in a position to where you feel like you're not doing enough or they just stress you out right they could be energy transferring onto you with them being upset with them being angry okay you could even be in the space of not speaking to someone right now and you could feel their energy strongly and that's because they could be thinking about you and just sending you all this negativity in the way that they're thinking so there may be a need for you guys to do like a real good energy cleanse um maybe do like a like full spiritual bath <sighs> shoot you might even need to light an energy protection candle, something here to cleanse your energy because you could be feeling a lot of energy transfer. And this doesn't even have to be romantic. This could even be like uh, you having friends that keep giving you bad news or, you know, every time you're you're talking to your child or you're talking to certain people, there could be just things that send you in a space of worrying for them. So in your energy of being you know, empathetic and you being somebody who can pick up energies very well, you just wanna protect that aspect of yourself. Um, I also feel like what you're not aware of, somebody who you could be broken up from, they could be very stressed out about you right now and not able to rest their mind and be at peace at all and how things are playing out between you two. Uh, they could be like just having a hard time and then it's affecting them financially too. They could be calling off of work. They could be like a business owner and maybe they're not making money like that or an entrepreneur. It just feels like somebody here is, is really going through it and trying to find alternative ways to reach out to you, especially if you block them, if you stop talking to them. Another thing that you may not be aware of, if you've been experiencing any financial issues, there could be an opportunity that's literally right there that you guys have either started but may have stopped or you guys just could be ignoring that you could take advantage of if you put more of a focus on it. So that opportunity could be right there. Let's keep going. I'm gonna use my Halloween Oracle cards. What's the energy around my Capricorns? What are they currently not aware of? that they should be aware of. So we have joy, rejoicing in the present. Okay, so spirit is trying to bring more happier moments into your life. And that's why they're trying to shift that negative energy up out of here. Okay, spirit is trying to also make sure you guys are prioritizing your personal sense of happiness. Where are you sacrificing your sense of happiness for other people? Okay, this is going really for my Capricorns who are empathetic, who who care about the people around around you and you want to help, you need to make sure you're putting boundaries in place, okay? And that's what spirit is pushing for. We also have Al, this is wise seeing, wise action. So yes, spirit wants you to look at your situation from a wider perspective instead of this perspective of just what you see around you okay and what you also may not be aware of somebody could be keeping tabs on like your social media okay it's like they don't want you to do certain things but they're definitely going to do whatever the, the heck they want to do it just seems like a very bitter ex okay let's keep going <laughs> 
Oh, you guys may have something important come through the mail. Make sure that you're checking your mail. Make sure that you're checking your emails, text messages, all of that. Okay. What's coming through for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? What are they currently not aware of? We're going to pull about four or five of these. So Ten of Cups, Four of Cups, Ace of, ooh, Ace of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, a lot of cups. And we have the Temperance card, which has also more cups on it which is interesting. So very emotional times and makes sense. We're in that Scorpio energy now. We're in Scorpio season and we got that Scorpio eclipse, that solar eclipse that's going to be happening on the 25th. So very interesting time to address how you feel and your emotions, okay? What you currently are not aware of or some of you are aware of it, but maybe have just kind of gone blind to it for a second. A lot of the pressure you could be feeling is because of the fact that you guys have been putting your emotions to the side. You guys have not been addressing what's been going on with you in terms of how you feel about things. And it's a lot of brushing things off and it's, it's becoming a real issue. Especially if this has anything to do with family issues, if this has anything to do with a marriage partner, okay? Speaking of, there could be a family member who really does need your help, or I'm also seeing could be in uh, disapprovement of a romantic relationship that you're in because they could be feeling like that relationship is really taken away from your quality or is taken away from your like ability to succeed because this person could be really throwing you off and they could be seeing it. Okay, you could have a family member who's really feeling a way that you guys don't speak that much and they want to reach out to you. They may have recently reached out to you, but they could be wanting to like have a conversation, clear the air. Someone is like very worried about you. Hmm. I think that also spirit is giving you guys an opportunity or has already given you this opportunity to cut ties with someone who you have really been in disgust for uh, in their actions and the way that they've been moving towards you. But it's like you guys really do need to take that first step and emotional confusion could really have you stuck in a weird wall, <laughs> a weird wall and a weird position to where you guys are not able to look forward because you have certain desires you have certain wishes goals and things but this relationship has been so emotionally confusing and just full of illusions that you guys may be needing to see the bigger picture and that's why spirit is constantly putting certain things in your face to show you like somebody here is not who they seem to be like you could have been very attracted to a love interest here and then now all of a sudden you're starting to see all their flaws. That's for a reason. Okay. We also have temperance and the nine of swords at the bottom. So yeah, it feels like spirit is definitely having some sort of spiritual team around you, supporting you. You guys need to make sure that you guys, or let me rephrase that because that just came out so wrong. <laughs> I think that your spirit guides, your spiritual team is all around you and they're trying to push for personal patience. They're working behind the scenes on putting you in alignment with your personal path. It's just you guys need to be in the flow of patience and not be in the space of anxiety and making decisions out of anxiousness and pushing yourself further back. But this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, definitely feel free to thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one, Capricorns.